Hello everyone and welcome to my first new video of 2020. I hope you all had a great Christmas and your new year got off to a good start. Well my new year is starting with this SIBO vacuum cleaner I bought on eBay last year possibly. It might have been early this year, I'm not sure. It's one of the K series and it's one of the older models because this is the pre-EU regulations version. It's an 1800 watt machine. I think they went up to about 2200. Or was it 2100? But anyway, this is 1800 watt. The current K series, you can still buy them, are 890 watts maximum. Right. So here we have it. Just at the beginning of the video, don't forget I've got Instagram if you want to follow me on Instagram and I have Facebook. I don't have Twitter anymore. I didn't use it enough so I got rid of Twitter. But you can see lots of exclusive photos and behind the scenes footage on Facebook and Instagram. Just search Ibasiak and you should find my page. Well that's a useful piece of polystyrene isn't it? I'll keep that. Seems pretty well packed. But I'm not uh, worried that this machine will be broken. I think this will arrive intact anyway, even if the packaging wasn't so good. I have got a machine, another machine coming from Germany. If you remember the Turbo Power 3 that I showed you a few weeks ago, that came from Germany. That was intact, but the one I'm getting from Germany next is a lot more fragile. So fingers crossed, folks, that that arrives. Fully intact. Now then, here we go. So this is a SIBO K. I think it's a K1, Comfort, spelt with a K. So it was like the mid model of the K series. There was the base model, the mid Comfort model. I think they did, uh, there was a cat and dog version. And then of course, the top of the range with the power head, which SIBO no longer offer in the K series in the UK. You can get the power head and the E3 premium and the D4 premium. So here we have, and well, I think that's possibly unused. Let's have a look if I can open up the, whoops, careful. Well, that to me looks unused or very little used turbo head. They've replaced the turbo head now. This is the earlier version made by that German company Wesselwerk, I think they pronounce it. I don't know, but anyway, they make nozzles for many vacuum cleaners, including Miele and other manufacturers. So very good condition. That's a good start, isn't it, folks? A good start to 2020. Here we have. Now I like things to be packed well, but sometimes people overdo it. But then I, <laughs> I suppose it's better that uh, they overdo the packaging rather than not packaging enough. Because I have had some. Uh, you not you not see the video, but I did open a, a Hoover upright recently, um, and it was pretty smashed. Anyway, I've uh, had to bin most of it, apart from I, I harvested it for parts, so it wasn't totally wasted. Here we have the wand. Obviously, it's not an electric wand. But that, again, that's in pretty good shape. Bit of an unusual design, half plastic, half metal. I'm sure I have got some SIBO cleaners that are all metal now, the ones, but uh, they've kept this particular design for a long time. I think that's all intact. It looks fine. This is the standard carpet and floor nozzle. Again, ooh, pretty good condition, isn't it? Look at that. And Hoover offered this particular nozzle with some of their 90s machines. Um, I think uh, it was on the Aria. I've seen it on the Aria. And uh, the uh, micro, oh no, it wasn't on the micro power. Anyway, it was on some of the uh, cheaper Hoover cleaners. There was a version without the pedal, the pedal here as well. For floors, you have the brush down. Got two litter pickers, a little bit of a nice metal base plate. Two wheels at the back, two little wheels at the front. Quite a narrow head. But it's got the SIBO click fit. So that's in good condition. And we have another nozzle. So I think this is all complete. Oh, and I, I, can, I spy the instruction book as well. So this seems to have everything. 
apart from the, uh, the original box. So here we have, again, unused or very little use, sort of the parquet floor head for your wooden floors and more delicate flooring. We do have the dusting brush. Again, everything's well packed. It's always best, folks, if you're selling anything on eBay, if you pack them well, then your customer will be happy. You'll get no grief. Again, look at the condition of that. It's a bit dusty, but I don't think that's hardly been used. There's the clamp as well. That clamps it to the uh, top of the extension wand, if you want to. We have some spare dust bags in here. I wonder if these are the earlier. Oh no, they are still. Oh, of course, I think the ultra bags. I think this type of bag, the fleecy type bag. Oh no, these are ultra, right? They're different. Sibo called them ultra bags, but they are still paper. They are now, of course, a fleecy material. And you get, of course, with these, you get the little caps. So once they're full, you can cap them off so the dirt doesn't fly out. So that's good, quite a lot of spare bags. Ah, for some reason, they've, uh, it's not something I would have done, but the hose is attached to the machine. Right, that's a useful box. I can use that when I sell a vacuum cleaner. If you want to follow me on eBay, my uh, eBay, well, I don't have a store, but my eBay name is ibasix underscore emporium. I have got a few things on sale now, but they're not vacuum cleaner related. But I will be putting some more vacuum cleaners up this year, for sure. Right, yep. It's in pretty nice condition. It looks in good condition when I um, saw this. It was a buy it now, I can't remember how much it was. But I'm pleased with that so far. We've got a separate instruction book for the turbo brush. That's the TTC Turbo Brush. And we've got the instruction manual here showing you all you need to know. Quite basic manual, really, but you don't really need to know much more than they tell you in there, I don't think. Okay, well, this has got the Good Housekeeping Approved sticker from 2002. But all in all, the worst part of this cleaner is the underside, obviously, it's a little bit scuffed up. If I'm terribly fussy about wanting this to look brand new, you can buy new, I'll see how much they are, but I can buy new casters. That front caster looks fine. You can buy a whole new bag door, they're not very expensive. I've seen those on a, a, a website. So if I wanted to, I could replace the base, but after cleaning a polish, I probably won't bother. And the air belt, you might just be able to see, you can see the holes now because of the, because this is a used vacuum, the carbon dust does escape the motor and it shows up. And it's even worse when you have air belt machines with a light color air belt. So um, this one, it's more of a, it's sort of a gray color. I think I've got a spare one anyway. And you can see it this side. I think you can just, yeah, you can see there, look. You can easily see the holes there. And you can see it, the air belt hasn't got holes all the way around. So the air comes out just where you see the black holes. Not at the front, just at the side. There's more, for some reason, there's more this side, isn't there? More holes down this side. So, yeah, quite pleased with this. Yeah, the hose does come out, so I'm not sure why it was shipped with the hose. That hose could do with a bit of a clean. You've got that quite uh, nice comfort hand grip there. All right then, folks, let's have a closer look at this SIBO Airbelt K1 Comfort. Okay, well, here it is after a very quick polish. There's not a lot I'll need to do to this machine. I've noticed this is the uh, upholstery nozzle stored on the top. 
can see the uh, writing on there is a bit worn. I do have a spare one of these because I bought a new top cover for my K3 Volcano that you might have seen on my channel. I bought a new top cover and it actually came with the nozzle, which I didn't need. So I've got a spare one of those. And I think, you know, it's fine for most people, but it is slightly scratched. I think I can still buy a new one of these in the original color. Well, while I've got the cover off, we can have access to the filter here. This is the post motor filter, which yes, you can see quite black. I will be replacing that. They're not supposed to be washable, but I suppose I could have a go at washing that. I'm sure in my stocks, I've got a spare pre and post motor filter for this machine. So after the exhaust air has passed through here, it exits the cleaner through the air belt. So that's that. And that fits on there. And on the back here, we've got the crevice tool and you can only use the upholstery nozzle with our uh, oh dear <laughs> something's happened folks that little piece has just come off it belongs in here somewhere it keeps that in place so i have to make sure i put it in the right way around so when we're cleaning upholstery this is a little bit of a faff they eliminated this on the um the e series you don't have to use two nozzles in order to use one but it does make it a nice height for your upholstery and stair cleaning. But yeah, you do have to use two. But obviously, if you just want to use the crevice tool, you can just use the crevice tool on its own. And of course, the dusting brush that I showed you earlier will fit directly onto the end of the handle or onto the end of the wand. So it's a nice full sized crevice tool that slots in the back there. And yes, this bit's come up. Now, it doesn't look broken, just uh, don't want to put it in the incorrect way. I'll, I'll try it that way. There we go. That's it, that's done it, so that shouldn't fall off. We've got an on-off switch here. Push button, it's a bit squeaky. But it's also your electronic motor speed control. That is a little bit rough, but might be able to do something with that. I'm not sure. At the back, we've got your little parking slot where you can park any of the larger floor tools, turbo nozzle, the standard combi tool and the hard floor nozzle. And you've got a couple of rubber sort of stands here, which enable you to stand the machine on its end. Carry handle just at the top. And on the back is where we access the bag, which I've not looked at yet. I can't see it being very dirty in here. That's a bit difficult. They've actually fitted a new bag, you see. So that's the bag door. Again, you can replace that entirely if you want to. I find with SIBO cleaners, it's easier to get hold of the parts than it is with many Miele cleaners. And they're not not too badly priced, they're quite reasonable uh, SIBO parts. This is the lower end, I mean that's pretty clean, that's the pre-motor. This is the lower end filter, there is a red filter that's got an extra layer of filtration in the middle. So this is the standard filtration. But as you can see, look, pretty clean isn't it? This hasn't been refurbished or cleaned, it's just a machine that's had very little use. I'm not really sure why it's had so little use. Perhaps they didn't have a large home to clean or they bought it, used it a bit, didn't really like it and bought something else and just put it in the back of a cupboard and forgot about it. Who knows where these things come from? But anyway, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. So that's the bag. Is that incorrectly? Let me check. You won't be able to close the bag door. Yeah, that is a little bit strange. Something up with this, folks. Oh, that should push up, you see. Mm. Oh. There we 
Hmm. Yeah, so we've got our first problem. It shouldn't. Let me just check I've put it in correctly because, yes, arrows pointing towards the front. That's pushed in. That, when you close the bag door, that is supposed to move upwards. You see where the uh, green collar is on the bag. So that might need looking at. It just might need just a bit of a lubrication jobby. Perhaps. Oh, hang on, I've got a date wheel. Let me just have a look. 02, so it is 2002. Uh, October, made in Germany, of course. October 2002, well, this part is. So, oh, crikey, 2002. No, 2002, 2000. 18 years old, 18 years old, is this? There we go, no. It is, 2002, 2000. it's 18, knocking on for 19. Knocking on for 19 years old, folks. Crikey. Right. Out comes the cable and nice quality thick cable. And it's a pull pull system, there's no button to rewind the cable. You give it a tug and it will rewind. I don't want it to at the moment, so I'll pull it all out. There we are. That's, a... That's it. I'm going to be brave because it looks in such good condition and it's a SIBO, I'm going to be brave and switch it on. Ah, ah dear. You see, it was all going so very, very well, folks. It was all going so very, very well until I saw that. So, yeah, that isn't good. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Now, a quick, easy fix for this which I probably will do initially, is put a new plug on. I don't think it's a moulded on plug. There's no way of opening this up and trying to rewire. So I'll just have to get myself uh, maybe a black rubberized plug. I think I'll do that rather than try and replace the whole cable. I think that's going into territory I don't really want to go into. So yeah, never mind. Okay, it might switch on, it might not. See, it does have a airflow indicator or bag check indicator. It comes on when, when there's a restriction to the airflow, whether it's because you've got a full bag or you've blocked the end of the hose. This cleaner's also got a suction relief valve somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I can hear it kicking in. When you restrict the airflow completely, you can hear the valve opening and letting air into the motor to prevent it from overheating. But there will be um, overheating cut out on this. If it does overheat for any reason, the machine will cut out and reset itself after you've left it a short while to cool down. So yes, apart from a little bit of a problem with the uh, plug end of the machine. It's pretty good and yeah, it looks almost new. I expect it looks brand new on camera. In real life, I can see odd little flaws, but really pretty happy with this. Let's uh, check the old turbo brush spins as it should. seems fine and one thing I've noticed this machine does not smell at all which is good isn't it well it's quite hard to push 
but it does actually move uh, fairly well on my plush carpeting this particular style of nozzle I, I prefer the uh, newer style I think well actually there's been since this particular style there's been two other styles the current one that they're using you can see an example of that um, it was on the my K1 the mint colored one I showed you last year I think that's got the latest uh, turbo nozzle and there was one in between that one as well I think I've got all examples of turbo nozzles for the SIBOs you can see here this is where you could not on this model um, you can on certain models this is just a molding for a little pigtail connection for the powerhead versions but uh, there's even a little slot there where I wonder if you could buy for certain models you can't certainly for this one there's no power takeoff socket on this cleaner let's see how, how easy this is to push it's on carpet now obviously this is pre-EU regs so I find that the pre-EU cleaners they didn't tend to they don't tend to stick firmly to the carpet like these newer lower wattage ones they're just impossible to move unless you lower the, lower the suction control Even on full power, that's you know relatively easy to use. I don't think I'd need full power. Probably just a little bit, little bit down from the full setting would be fine on this carpet. But yeah, all in all, pretty good, pretty good. Just have to be careful with the uh, plug, of course. I'll just uh, whoops a daisy. <laughs> have to be careful with that as well. Well, they're made to last, so. Uh, yeah, I just have to. I'll just hold the end of the plug here while I rewind. Let's check it does rewind. It might struggle a bit because it's a bit curled up. Yeah. Obviously, if I'd used this for a while, the mains cable would be not as curly as it is uh, at the moment. But yeah, all in all, another little. SIBO to add to the collection you can still buy the k-series obviously but it's with the lower wattage 890 watt motor there isn't a powerhead version of this i have got a k3 premium on my channel which is the powerhead version in white SIBO seem to have discontinued that but you can get the latest k model is a orange color it's called the fun and previous to that they did a sunshine yellow one but they're they're you know sort of additional models they do the pastel range and I've shown you the mint green they do a pink and a pastel blue and of course there's the standard range which uh, there's a red one basic red machine and there's a black pet version with a small turbo nozzle as well as a large one and I think there is still the comfort version in a darker blue to this which is much the same uh, full size turbo nozzle but no small turbo nozzle not really sure why they keep the comfort model really just a basic model and a pet model would be enough i think for this but of course if you go for one of the pastel colored ones that comes with all the tools you may need really it comes with everything i think i think it even comes with a dusting brush so that's the one i'd go for if you want all the tools but of course you can buy the tools from SIBO direct or many online retailers if you want additional tools so yeah all in all pretty pleased with this i'll put down a bit of dirt my first first little bit of dirt down for the uh new year we'll start off i'll do a little bit of a test with the standard carpet and floor nozzle which is surprisingly nice a little bit narrow but it's, it's nice to push got side suction channels as well on it uh, i like to see a metal base plate at the time i'm making this video i i'm going to be showing you very soon a new I have to do the in you know speech inverted commas a new <laughs> henry cleaner well it, it is it is new but it isn't i can't remember what it's called uh, <laughs> but anyway it's one of the later henry's and i'm going to be uh, interested to find out if it's got one of the newer carpet and hard floor nozzles which i showed you on the henry extra i showed you that um, late last year wasn't impressed with that nozzle if that nozzle comes with the new henry i won't be impressed with that 
But the new Henry I'm getting does come with a lot of other nozzles as well, so mm. hopefully, well, we'll see. I have heard from a, a viewer that uh, that is a standard nozzle now that uh, pneumatics supply with their Henrys and Hetties. So I'll find out later today because that's when it's arriving. I won't be showing you later today, but I will be unboxing probably and filming it later today, depending what time it arrives. OK, enough of that. Let's uh, get some dirt down on my carpet and see if I can remove it all using my SIBO K1 Comfort. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the end of my first unboxing of 2021. Many, many more to come over the coming months and into 2022 and beyond, fingers crossed. If you've liked this video, please, please don't forget, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you don't subscribe already. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. New uploads include full demonstrations of the Bissell Pet Pro two times professional carpet washer. I've already made those videos. I've got more Seabirds coming up, I've got some Dysons, obviously pneumatics, lots and lots of robotic cleaners to come up, some uh, floor washers as well, all sorts of different floor care products to keep you amused during 2021. If you have any comments or questions about this SIBO K1 Comfort, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.